So she had one gold medal in 2012 and now she comes home to the United States of America with a second gold medal in 2016 is Clarissa Shields of the United States of America bringing home the women's middleweight division 75 kilograms or about 165 pounds with a gold medal victory over Nuchka Fontin of the Netherlands who takes home a silver and a really good fight um, a fun fight especially the first round Fontin was able to uh, land some good shots on Shields but Shields came out and you know definitely um, made it a total non-factor was able to bully Fontin was able to uh, rough her up hurt her and pretty much control the action all throughout she definitely won the the fight clearly and under control and she did a, a just an excellent job throughout these entire Olympics you know, she defeated uh, Dariga Shakimova of Kazakhstan to win the semifinals. Uh, Shakimova, of course, takes home the bronze. Defeated uh, Lavaslava Yakushina of Russia in the quarterfinals. And she had a bye in the first round of 16. Um, of course, uh, Nushka Fontian defeated Li, Kwan, Li Qian of uh, China, by, who takes home a bronze medal uh, by a split decision. That was a pretty good, pretty close fight. And also defeated Savannah Marshall of Great Britain in the quarterfinals. A little bit of an upset right there. Um, but she did a solid job for herself as well. Of course, uh, Li Qian, as I mentioned, takes home a bronze. Dariga Shakimova takes home a bronze as well uh, for Kazakhstan and China, respectively. But, I mean, Clarissa Shields just did an incredible job, these Olympics. She now has two medals. Um, she's only 21. She won her first one when she was 17, of course. She could very well try to become a triple gold medalist in 2020 in Tokyo, the Olympics in Tokyo in 2020. But um, I, she could also turn pro. And I think as a pro, she would have a choice of opponents. I think she would be, uh, she could potentially be a big star in the United States on the level of a Christy Martin, on the level of a Leila Ali, on the level of the Mia St. John. And um, I honestly can't see anybody pro or amateur defeating her. Um, she's really an, just a, a great, a very great fighter. Um, but before, back in 2012, it seemed like she was largely fighting off of sheer just ability, strength, and, and um, athleticism. With now, it seems like she really has put together a lot more tools in her repertoire. She's able to counter punch a little bit, but she had, does have slightly short arms for her height, and she's not, in, she's not exactly the tallest female at middleweight. So her inside game has, has really um, gotten some subtleties that it didn't have before. And I think that she's just overall a better boxer, a more complete boxer than she used to be. So maybe four more years of that, she'll be even more complete. I mean, who knows? She could even, if she wanted to be, be a quadruple or a quintuple gold medalist uh, when it's all said and done. But um, that's off into the future. We'll, it'll be interesting to see how she does. But of course, she's one of uh, the United States' golden children. She's done it really big. Um, she's excellent promotionally. Um, she's a great person on the on the microphone and outside of the ring, and an absolutely vicious uh, fighter on the inside of the ring, and just an, uh, a fierce competitor. You know exactly the type of uh, athlete that uh, the the Americans love to uh, celebrate and associate with. So that's gonna do it for my coverage of the women's middleweight division for the 2016 Olympics. Uh, of course, a quick rundown. Uh, Li Qian of China taking home a bronze. Dariga Shakimova of Kazakhstan taking home a bronze. Nushka Fontin of the Netherlands taking home a silver. And Clarissa Shields of the United States of America taking home a gold. That's it for this one. Catch you guys on the next. Peace.